girl by her clothes. You can always find the kitchen with your nose. You can always count on certain things, and Walmart's one of those. One reason why you can always count on Walmart and the products we sell is that the products we sell are the brands you can always trust. You wouldn't have it any other way, and neither would we. We are blessed to be joined tonight by Corinne Owens, the widow of U.S. Navy Special Operator, Senior Chief William Ryan Owens. Ryan died as he lived, a warrior and a hero, battling against terrorism and securing our nation. I just spoke to our great General Mattis, just now, who reconfirmed that, and I quote, Ryan was a part of a highly successful raid that generated large amounts of vital intelligence that will lead to many more victories in the future against our enemy. Ryan's legacy is etched into eternity. Thank you. Thank you. Ryan is looking down right now, you know that, and he's very happy because I think he just broke a record. <laughs> For as the Bible teaches us, there is no greater act of love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. Ryan laid down his life for his friends, for his country, and for our freedom. And we will never forget Ryan. You can always tell a cowgirl by her clothes. You can always find the kitchen with your nose. You can always count on certain things, and Walmart's one of those. One reason why you can always count on Walmart and the products we sell is that the products we sell are the brands you can always trust. You wouldn't have it any other way, and neither would we. Say how great she was. You just told me something, that this was a great partner. Go ahead. Get into the mic there. Okay. Don't get nervous. All right. That was unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, my name is uh, uh, Officer Marr. I was uh, Detective Familia's partner the night she was killed. And uh, I knew her for about 10 years. I worked with her on and off. 
This is a woman who got injured a while ago and volunteered to come back to patrol to one of the, one of the roughest places in New York City. She volunteered to come back to leave a cushy job to come back to patrol. She was only there for about two weeks and I had the honor of being with her that night. And uh, she may have been lost that night, but uh, she saved a lot of lives in turn because of her memory and, and everything that transpired after the fact. She was an incredible person. Uh, and she is missed by the family. This family is, forget it, they're incredible. Thank you. Thank you very much. These are special people. They're just special, special people. And I want to tell you that last year, just a few hours after the city of New York celebrated the 4th of July, Detective Familia was on duty in her vehicle, not far from Yankee Stadium. Big Yankee fan? Big, you're all Yankee fans, right? <laughs> She was ambushed by a man for the simple reason that she was a member of the police department. She was a member of law enforcement. That was the simple reason. The attack, because she was so incredible, was just looked upon so horribly. Her family when people met the family, they saw what an incredible person she was. I just want to say that to your entire family, it's such an honor to have you up here. We weren't going to bring you up, but I looked at you in the audience and I said, you have to come up because you're representing something so important. You understand that? She loved the department. She loved being a police officer. She loved her job. She was respected by everybody. They told me all about her. She was respected by everybody. So she's right now, right there, and she's looking down, and she's so proud of you. She's so proud of you. And you are great. You are great. Thank you very much. Thank you.